It's a human story. It's about boffins. It's about British eccentricity. If he's texted someone in conversation, you go, oh, what was that movie with the planes? And they were going, and they go, oh, that was Dan Busters. Never has the British lip been more stiff or more upper, as in the Dam Busters. The true story of a daring raid on German dams in 1943. It's deeper than patriotism. It's a sense that an alliance of people who represent decency have got one over an alliance of people who represent evil. Here they come. Good luck. But what distinguished this classic was that it was as much about legendary boffin Barnes Wallace developing his bouncing bomb as it was about any real-life Biggles. It's about technology. The Brits might not have had the vast German army and the, the successes it enjoyed across Europe, but the Brits did have that funny, eccentric ingenuity. And, and you know, Barnes Wallace invented the bouncing bomb when he was playing with marbles on his, on, in his back garden with his daughter, and he looked at the way these marbles were skimming across the water, and he thought, there might be a bomb in this. Three, two, one, fire. Fire, that's good. Mark it, Mary. And it's that combination of brains and physical courage that this film shows, which makes it, I think, unique among any of the war films that came out of Britain in the 1950s. And in a way, once the mission's underway, it sort of, it sort of the, film, the film doesn't run out of puff, but it kind of like, well, they tell the story of the raid, and we kind of know that they're gonna break a couple of dams maybe and it's gonna work. It's the, it's the lead up that's so good. When audiences watched the dramatic recreation of the heroic raid just 12 years later, it stirred up a tidal wave of great British pride. It's gone! Look! My God! My dad was, was a telegram boy at the time, in 1943, and he says, you, you cannot imagine the morale boost. That morning when we heard on the radio and we saw on the newspapers that our planes had gone right into the center of Germany, they'd punched holes in all these dams, they'd flooded all of these factories. We can hit your most valuable targets anytime we want, anywhere we want in Germany. And that was a huge morale booster for the British people. And the film reflects that. It just, it, it, the film celebrates that. But bouncing bomb boffins and busted dams aside, the film most significantly provided us with an unofficial national anthem. The music has become even more legendary than the film and even more legendary than the raid itself. And there's no piece of film music, I think, for any British war film, certainly, that has the resonance that that has. And it really has planted it centrally in the cultural memory of our people.